Dave Hoover. Yes. Um, you saw Bruce Springsteen live and in concert tonight. Uh huh. How was that for you, Dave? Well, it's great. I mean, the 15th time seeing him, and the best show by far. Best show. And I've seen him in Jersey and New York and Ohio and PA and all that, but best show tonight. Best show. What made it the best show for you, Dave? I don't know. It was just the intense. I mean, it's always intense when you go see Bruce. You know, it's he's he's by far the best live entertainer out there. But I don't know. It was just something about tonight. You know, just you you could tell when he's on stage, he's just giving it his all. You know, you're you're exhausted in the audience watching him. <laughs> you know, and so you can only imagine what's going on with him. Yeah, you know, just. You know, and it's fun, and, and he's calling audibles and doing tour premieres left and right, and you don't know what, what he's playing, you know. And that's really cool. He doesn't he doesn't do the same set every night. Right, right, right. You know, I'm coming back tomorrow, and it's going to be like a completely different show. It's, uh, I think that this past week when uh, he was playing San Jose, I think uh, you know, he had ten songs different than the previous night. So just crazy. The intensity in that and the emotion, the raw emotion, and you know the way the band is playing and it's just like they're all channeling that that energy through their instruments you know bruce is just you know on top of his game on that one. that's that's tough you know i mean you got like 23 songs and it, or whatever it was yeah you're gonna pick your best and oh tonight. bruce springsteen and the e street band <laughs> well and how was bruce springsteen oh, out of out of this world he's always out of this world i mean there's nobody else on this planet like him so in this universe in the universe I, I came here with a sign for Rosalita night. He played Rosalita. He played Ramrod. Uh, Tom Joad was unbelievable. It's just, you know, that was pretty cool and to hear that. Well, and Murder Incorporated. You know, Neil's getting down on Murder Incorporated. It was pretty amazing. So, you know, I, how do you pick one of those? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is really tough. Uh, when he did come out and play the Ghost of Tom Joad, that was my favorite part yeah, of the show. Yeah, that, that was pretty unbelievable. He came out with Tom Morello from Rage yeah. Against the Machine. Yeah. You know what? I went to a show back in October and I saw him again in November. He's just getting better. This whole tour, it's just getting better and better. The energy level, I mean, the crowd participation, it was unbelievable. I mean, And yeah. the crowd does just, they get their hands up, they yeah, go crazy. Yeah. I'm deaf from people screaming and whistling. I mean, it's just, and dancing, we danced for hours straight. I mean, it's just a good time. Always. Post your interview at utelconcerts.com. <laughs> yes, because when... You tell concerts they're cooler. Oh! <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren. This is utelconcerts.com. I just got done seeing Bruce Springsteen here at the Honda Center of Anaheim. I did have the privilege of catching Bruce last Saturday night in Seattle, Washington. I know we probably played another Saturday show, but a couple weeks back in Seattle. And tonight's show blew that show away. Um, I guess the set list in Seattle was super extra special and amazing, but tonight's show was just fantastic. Uh, highlights for me personally, uh, Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine and the Night Watchman coming out and playing the Ghost of Tom Joad uh, with Bruce. That was uh, pretty sweet. A uh, little disappointment he didn't do the sing-along for his little Irish jig, this American song at the end. I always kind of like when the whole crowd's clapping and singing and cheering it. But tonight's show rocked. Every time you see Bruce Springsteen, you get a completely different concert, which is really neat because the vast majority of arena rock shows can't pull that off anymore. It's just the same show every night and, you know, flashy bright lights. Bruce doesn't have any of that. He just rocks. He just gets you off your feet. Anytime you can go see an artist play songs you don't know and you're up and dancing, that's called a rock and roll show. So thanks again, Bruce. Hopefully I can come catch you tomorrow night. If not, next time you're around the block, I'm definitely checking out. Because you are the boss. And this is utelconcerts.com. And when you tell concerts, it's cooler. That was a horrible voice change. Thanks for working the camera, Katie.